was the best hand basically in this round. Windows. For Benabeo it was not so good hand before, but you you, you can't stop uh, pulling salt into my wounds. <laughs> it's like it's it's really nice to have you here, Julian. Yeah, it's good fun. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm having the time of my life. And in that spot, I want to say thank you to the guy that took my Beats by Dre headphones. So now I'm stuck like 440. I was in the casino earlier and I saw this uh, hand, uh, Queen Deuce against Pocket Force. I just cheat on the turn. Four, please. Okay, there it is. Oh, Lagerstrom has a four. It even, it even was a half an hour delayed, this, this live stream, but it still works. That's like, <laughs> that's amazing. <laughs> like, that's that's how Julian Harrow rolls. Even if the ha hand is already played when he sees it, he can travel back in time to cheer for the right card. Like, that, <laughs> that that's magic, guys. That's just magic. Do you have a DeLorean to travel back in time, or how do you do that? Mm. Um, the back to Future, the nice <laughs> car. Just magic, like I said. I can't tell everybody. Yeah, I know. Like uh, a real magician can't give his uh, tricks away, but I don't think that is a trick. Like that's real magic. You're not an illusionist. You're a magician. That's, that's a big that difference. No, that's poker. Uh, like I'm running out of vodka here. Like, shouldn't we just like get out of bottle? <laughs> Nobody, nobody cheers for a bottle of vodka because they are Team Heineken over there. So um, <coughs> we will have uh, a players' party later at 12 o'clock. We will get enough vodka there, and that's it's for free. We don't even have to pay there. I think like when we are getting drunk, I will keep try to get to get even with you and keep betting, and so the vodka will cost <laughs> me a lot of money. So maybe to save some money at the free bar, I should like just stay in my hotel room. Yeah, and get drunk right now. Yeah, yeah. yeah oh, okay. Good that tactic, uh, maybe. Yeah, yeah. So maybe, okay, pocket jacks for Lagerstrom. He's now going to bust against uh, Bernabeu and I get 100 euro. Uh, oh, is like really, oh like Bernabeu is a monster. We get a message here. He is a monster. Bernabeu, 27. Oh, come on. Free bet him. Okay, maybe Roman has like kings here. Queen 9? No. King 3. Premium hand. Queen Only 7-handed. You have to play King 3. Yeah. Kings is one of a uh, king is one of the uh, best Roman, cards. Roman in the snap calls seven eight suited uh, off suit and checks in the dark. I don't like that play. He wins a big pot with seven eight yesterday. You remember on king seven eight against ace king. He yeah. wins his three point five million pot, but not so good flop for him this time. But maybe he he, he tries to like yeah the, okay he checks. That's that's for pot control. He does not want Roman to check raise him. So now Roman adds nothing to his nothing. Starts bluffing. Roman, don't do it. He will call you down. <laughs> wow, big bet, overbet. Lagerstrom thinks, what can he overbet now? But he will call for sure. Ooh, makes not a lot of sense. Uh, now he has to shove the river. Let's see if Lagerstrom continues calling. But Lagerstrom can't fold uh, a shove on the river, I, I think. I don't think he's folding. Maybe the spade helps Roman, but... Let's see if he has the balls to shove it all in. Oh, don't do it, he will call you. Come on, Roman. Just, just check. It's just the movement of your hand. Oh, he, he said all in. He said all in. Now, we, we Lagerstrom has a really big No, decision. he said check. He said check. Oh, he said check. Oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, think, I think Lagerstrom will check behind. Makes no sense for him to bet. What is he betting against? Only a, a only 10 would call me, yeah. maybe a 10. The flush came. Roman can have even a 5 or a queen. I think it just checks behind. Checks. Shows down the checks. Overbet on the turn doesn't work if you don't go all in on the river. I think he might have folded on the river. Spade comes up, he can have a queen, a five, spades. A lot of hands that beat him. But Roman decided to check. I said 
So, now we have a new short stack at the table, and you bet on him. The man I put my money on. With uh, now 18 big blinds, Roman Pumpernick from Austria. <laughs> and things, things changed quite quickly. My, my, my man, I got 3 to 1 odds when he was only with a million, is now the chip leader with blah, 6 blah, million. Blah, 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 blah. So, but Roman just needs to double up and double up, and he's the chip leader again. Yeah, a few times. No, he has just has to double up twice to be the chip leader. Yeah, good luck for this. <coughs> Like, this game can change so quick, like we have seen with Nikolaus Kovac on day 3, when where he started like in the top 20 and 15 minutes later he was out. So, better be here. Oh, oh, we forgot a bet. No, did we? Are we seven or six players? Seven. Because better be needs to bust out next. We still have the bet on that. You, yeah, you, you but we, we still have the seven players and okay, I got so one to one for this. Uh. Yeah, that's okay. maybe the first bet you good bet you made. Yeah, in the last two days. <laughs> <laughs> oh, if anyone wants my job, sitting next to Julian Harold, smelling his feet, uh, it's available. You just need to have a good bankroll for side bets because this guy is running good. So, Sork pocket nines, Benabeo, a six. I don't like the, 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 the call with pocket nines there. Don't I, I like the call because we both have a lot of chips. Zork has now 3 million. W what's the sense of 3 betting and then you, he might 4 bet you and then uh, what I do now with my pocket nines? Do I really want to play for all my chips? A pair of nines. So I like the call and then you can see on the flop he's definitely calling one time now in position. Let's see what Benabeo does. Bet 230. He's not going to fold pocket nines right now. If he wants to have him, if he wants to have a fold, he has to play three barrels. Benabeo has the ace of hearts for back backdoor hearts. If he puts up a flush on the turn, oh, ace. Yeah, there goes my man. <laughs> That's definitely a good card for Benabeo. But like this is the card. Like I don't think that Zork can continue with. I don't think that he will call him down to the river now. Benabeo now hits his ace and he checks. He was bluffing before. Now he hits. Why does he check now? I don't. I don't. I don't like that line. Like if he continues barreling, like he misses the value there. He's not going to call down with pocket nines anyway if the ace shows up on the turn, but. If he wouldn't have the ace, let's imagine he has a check 10, he would continue betting 100% of the time on the ace on the turn. And now he hits his ace and uh, he just stops betting. So another close to a million pot, 560k profit for Bonabeo. They are so like you chip leader, chip leader change. Banabe on like the funny 5. thing. 9. The funny thing is, if Roman doubles once, he's third in chips again. So nothing happened yet, Roman. Stay focused. Stay focused and keep shipping. Everybody has the has a hoodie with protecting their head. Roman versus sunglasses. So only the Croatian guy wears nothing at all, but I think he's very experienced. He doesn't need it. Yeah, he's not he's not scared at all. He plays all he plays pretty solid. I think. Not seen him doing so many crazy stuff. It's a big tournament for Croatia, you don't have the chance to play that big of a tournament too often a year, so he really concentrates on, on uh, winning some money here. Yeah. So, Kovin. Roman falls king four. 
Backstream, queen four. Doesn't look so happy anymore after the bluff. He was catched by Lagerstrom a few minutes oh. ago. Bernabeu gets a walk with a really good hand and a big blind ace 10 suited. Lucky for Roman that he did not pull the trigger on his button there. He would have got snap called by Bernabeu, yeah. I think. Roman only has uh, 18 big blinds left, but that's uh, too much in chips to just shove all in with king uh, with a king six offsuit. So you would not worth the risk like to 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 fold to a free bet once if you like raise and raise fold one more hand. You can raise fold or you can go through the blinds one more time and then you can just open shove it with 15, 16 big blinds. Okay, you can wait uh, until someone raises. He picks up uh, a solid hand and then he just shove it all in. Kovin, 9-3, he will fold. Roman. Four, five, he, he's not catching cards at all. Slagerstrom, uh, four dues of suit on the button. Besides the fold. So Benabeo is raising 100% of the time, 9 10 suited. He's uh, definitely trying to steal now. Let's see if Balinski is going to go all in with 7-5 uh, of suit in the big blind. We have not seen that yet. I, I saw it already. Yeah, because you are a cheater. No, I'm magic. <laughs> <laughs> Julian is looking at the other other screen. So he raises. No, oh yeah, he raises up to 180. Savinsky has the one point seven seven million. It's 20 big plans. Good shot here if he has a good read on uh, Benabeo that he's weak. He's not going to call. He is going to fold or he's going to shove all in. But 7-5 off suit is not the best hand for this. Yeah, he folds. Pot. Another pot for Benabeo. Shows a monster again. 10-9 suited. He would have folded if he shoves. But he was ahead. <coughs> he bluffed with the best hand. Let's see if we can uh, get some action hands now. It's not so good hands around at the moment. Everybody's grinding a stack, try to make some places and make some more money. We didn't have a bust out for more than uh, one and a half hours now. It could be a long night. Roman. Maybe he picks up hands, yeah, Ace King, off suit. Do it, my man. It's a real monster for, for his stack right now, raises 225,000. I don't know why he makes it that big. It makes no difference if he makes it 165 or 225. So, and he will get no action so far. Benabeo on the button, big, maybe big he fans a hand. No, the, he already folded. Folded already. We, at, we had Pereira. 5-3 off, he, he's going to No fold. action for Roman. Yeah, he would love to get some action with Ace King. But it's also like 10% stack increase for Roman without a yeah. showdown. Back to 1.5 million, that's almost 20 big blinds. But he shouldn't open raises almost 3 big blinds when he has a hand now. The min raises, it's good with a stack like this. People don't defend that much anyway, they don't call uh, races with uh, speculative hands, like check 10, they just fold it. Changes nothing if you make three big blinds or two big blinds. Corbin folds, Roman folds, Bernabeu, ace-seven suited. 
Besides the race, 180. Ferreira on the small blind. Good hand for blackjack, not for poker. 8 3. Torque, 4 7. He shows every hand here. He likes to show hands. Like he's getting back his game flow. He gets much more aggressive right now. Maybe he, he, he switched the type of chewing gum. And yeah, the, maybe the aggressive chewing gum. I don't know. Lagerstrom picks up pocket fours. <coughs> Again. Makes it a 165, maybe. 170. Oh, there we go. And Bayo is going to 3 bet him with face king. Let's see ace king four turn ace there. I have <laughs> so how would you play this hand? The, the two big stacks collide against each other. I would re raise, he maybe makes it uh, 480, something like this. Lagerstrom can even call, they both have almost 6 million behind. You can uh, see if you uh, flop your set. And maybe then you can get it in the middle against the really aggressive guy, Banabeo. For him, one pair is enough. If you hit a set on ace high, it could be a big pot. Yeah, if, if Lagerstrom busts Banabeo right now, that would be like, I lose my 80 euro side, but one. <laughs> Makes it 5,000, uh, Let's see if Lagerstrom calls or he just folds. He looks like he's folding. Huh? Maybe he doesn't want to play a big pot with a pair like this. Maybe he's smiling. Yeah, if he's smiling. Another one goes to the to the to the maniac from Spain. Shows, it, shows his ace king. <laughs> Wants to put it in his pocket. No, no, lay four, lay four. Four, four. Yeah. Four. I have to ask him if he has pocket no, fours and told him, ah, there's not coming here for anyways. Good fault. Bernabeu goes up to 6.6 .6 million, Lagerstrom loses a bit, so he's back to 5.6. But it's still a really, really good sex. Is there a dinner break after this level for the players? You know that? Normally it's always around like 8, 8.30. Because I'm hungry as well. <laughs> it says 10 minute break after level 25. Maybe if we don't have a dinner break today. Maybe if we just try to finish it quickly. Nobody busts the last 90 minutes or almost 2 hours. So it's a long way to go. you would defend your blind with, with Roman stack. 
Mm, Roman only has 18 big blinds. You can defend it, but you have to flop really hard to continue the sense. Let's see if we get something. It's not a flop. I think uh, Tsok is counter betting. Roman has no option. Just yeah. vote. Is there is, is there any sense in like dunk betting this flop for Roman? Well, he yeah, seems. He thinks, he thinks the same. Yeah. It's maybe the only chance he can win the spot. Yeah. No, I don't think uh, Zog is going to continue against the stack like Romans. Roman would often dunk with a open ender, a flush draw, maybe even a king. And then uh, he's not falling anymore. But here he has 8 high. So, Zog is asking for Roman's chip, ca chips, chip count. I don't think he's going to put it in here. I don't think so. I, I don't hope so. Like I would love Roman to win this pot. He takes his time to make a decision, but even if Roman has an open ender, he, he will be behind. He calls. For, because he expects Roman to only bet once if he doesn't have anything, and then he can take the pot easy on the turn. Oh. Now he hits the queen. But makes no difference anyway. Roman wouldn't continue betting anyways. Checks. Uh, he checks. Now Sork will check behind, like he should on value right now. Yeah, he I think he's he does not need to bluff the hand. If he bets here, he's basically like bluff, bluffing. Like he still does not beat the king. So is there, is there any he beats need? nothing with his queen. I think he's going to just track it down. And then uh, Roman sees he called uh, queen 5 off suit in position for nothing, hits his queen on the turn. And that will I, I don't f hope that this will put Roman until this hand goes to showdown and he loses it to like uh, a queen a queen high call on the flop with no backdoor options. Like actually the best hand called on the flop, but another heart maybe that's the option to bluff for Roman but now Roman made a pair right I'm not sure if he thinks he has to bluff here or I would like a shove here is there any chance if Roman shoves that Sork is going to call no, never or I don't think he's going to call here but Roman is o basically only shoving two cards the ace of hearts which he may might reship uh, re-steal preflop with an ace in his hand or the king of hearts it's the only two cards he would yeah, shove right now. And now Roman loses another pot. Sork is gonna check behind. Roman will see that, that he did a good job on the flop. But another 460k loss for Roman. Like he's down to nearly 1 million right now. Not a good day for Roman until now. So, a new dealer is coming that will bring Roman new luck. He needs a lot of luck now, only certain big blinds remaining. <coughs> He's basically push or fold right now. Yeah. Oh, next hand, check for suited, Herrera, 10 for suited, Zork, King 9 suited. 
think he's going to raise his hand. He's not raising Corbin with A7 suited, off suit. He asks Roman how much trips he has. Races to 200. Largest rim, 9 dues off suit. Maybe he's going to 3 bet because uh, the stack of Colvin is pretty good for this. Kovin then has no option, Either he shoves all in or he falls. There's no way Kovin is going to call a race, he's either going all in or he just falls. So the hand, Lagerstrom has basically, doesn't matter that much. This is the blinds. The gap between the short stacks and the two big stacks got bigger and bigger. Like as you can see, Benabeo 6.5 million, Lagerstrom 5.5 million, Sorg 3 million, then two players with about 2 million, Kolinsky with 1.6, and on the bottom end of the, of the table is Roman Pumponek with about 1 million in chips. I think we will have a bust out soon. Could you, could you promise me one thing, Julian? When, like, when when Roman is all in, can you like can you and he's behind? Can you call for 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 him to hit a miracle? Okay, I try it, but just just to keep the action going and because I like Roman and so I know I don't want him to bust out sevens. It's it's fine for me if he like if he loses the heads up against Lagerstrom. That's fine for me as well. Yeah, I'd like I know it's like a hundred euro for you if Roman busts right now, but like I w I really want Roman to win big money. Yeah, it's way more important than the 100. It's just that's the point. We are betting to have some action here and not to blame players. Like I want, I, I just want Roma to see in the top three. Pereira is all in. Kovin snaps all the fives. It's a big shot for his king. It's almost 25 big blinds. He could have opened, wa waiting for a three bet and then shoves it in. Maybe even the bigger pot. Because like Kovin, uh, uh, Sork had pocket fives there, or Kovin. Kovin? Kovin had pocket fives, he snap folded if, if Pereira just raises, maybe maybe, maybe three bets and then yeah. he can add another four hundred thousand with stack. Yeah. If he just open raises. Like you would do normally with a twenty big blind stack. But Pereira qualified for two dollars, maybe he wants to not make so uh, high variance plays and just make two or three places more because every play places worth now a lot of money.